Dining in or eating out was once reserved for the wealthy or special occasions, but not anymore. Now more than one third of Malaysians eat away from home, depending on food sold at the cafeterias or food outlets to fulfill our energy requirement. With this increasing practice of eating out, food handlers are the crucial links in the food chain from farm to fork. In 2007, it was reported that the main cause of foodborne illness in Malaysia is insanitary food handling procedures which contribute to 50% of the cases as stated by Ministry of Health in 2007. Therefore, it is essential that food handlers are properly trained so that they take the necessary precautions to avoid such accidents of food poisoning. The safety of the foods that we consume daily depends largely to them. Malpractices in the food service industry often lead to undesirable consequences such as contamination or poor quality of food prepared, thus resulting in the risk of food poisoning. 35 university food handlers were segregated into control and intervention groups. These participants were assessed on their preliminary food safety knowledge and practices levels before being intervened via questionnaire. The intervention group then received an educational talk from a food safety professional on food safety knowledge and practices topics. The food handlers' food safety knowledge and practices levels were then assessed a month after the intervention program to ensure that the educational talk information was sustained by the participants. The objective of this research is mainly to determine the differences in the level of food safety knowledge and food handling practices among the food handlers before and after education intervention in Management and Science University. Bagi saya, training tentang food safety ini sangat bermanfaat untuk semua lapisan masyarakat sebabnya kita bukan saja boleh memperhatikan di tempat kerja, malahan di rumah dan mana-mana tempat melibatkan makanan dan minuman. Pada pandangan saya, program ini amalah sesuai kerana ia memberi pengetahuan kepada kita semua untuk mengendalikan makanan dengan cara yang betul dan selamat. This research is intended to determine if these food handlers implement the food safety knowledge and food handling practices in workplace as well as at home. Program ini telah mengajar saya tentang pentingnya kebersihan diri ketika mengendalikan makanan, cara pemakaian yang sesuai, serta penyimpanan di makanan yang betul untuk memastikan kualiti makanan yang terjamin. Saya didedahkan dengan cara-cara untuk mencegah pencemaran makanan yang sangat penting untuk pengendali makanan Antaranya sentiasa membasuh tangan atau menggunakan sarung tangan ketika berada di dapur If this aspect will not taken into account, in daily work process, foodborne disease will occur in which it will jeopardize the customer's health statuses This program has resulted in a significant result whereby the intervention managed to improve the food handlers' food safety knowledge and food handling practices.